folks, and welcome to episode 1 of a new Let's Play on the channel. We're going to be going through RimWorld 1.0. Now, there are a thousand Let's Plays of this out there right now, but I'm going to do my own. I have turned off all the mods that I had. Uh, they're all turned off. It's been so long that I, since I've played with this stuff that I don't remember what is mod and what isn't. So we're going to wipe this slate clean for 1.0, and we're going to play it entirely vanilla. So we're going to go for a new colony, and I th naked butterfly, naked alone and utterly unprepared, can you survive? Extremely difficult and unfair. Uh, you went on a anesthetic for a minor surgery, now you've woken in a drop pod, crashing into a distant planet, you're naked alone and totally unprepared, can you survive? There is nothing fair about the scenario, it is extremely difficult and death can happen for any reason. Your faction will be new arrivals, start with one, people chosen from eight. Start and characters are naked, I wonder if that means for technology as well. You know, folks, I think we're going to give this a try. We are going to be Naked Brutality, and we'll go for Cassandra Classic. We'll put her on uh, Medium. Reload Anytime Mode. No. Commitment Mode. You can only save on quitting the game. Uh, yeah, we'll go for Commitment Mode, because that sounds like it saves when we quit the game. So, aside from losing, um, actually losing the all-out save file, we should be okay for bugs and crashes. Uh, we'll randomize the seed a couple of times. We get Maria. We almost got Misery there, which would, I think, have been uh, foreboding, considering we're already going for this naked brutality run. So we're going to have to um, pick our spot and our people quite carefully, I think. So let's see. Um, how's this looking? This is flat. We we'll want something with an all year round growing period because I really want, uh, if we're starting off with such a big challenge. Uh, nope. Anyway. Okay, so this is year round growing. It is movement difficulty of one, it is flat terrain, it has a creek. We also, if we can. Would like some rock. There we are. Year-round growing to stand, uh, sandstone and slate. Movement difficulty 5. So we're in the mountains. So it's going to be harder for people to get here. There is a bit of disease frequency. There is special feature caves. I don't know that we want caves though. But I guess caves are just going to happen wherever we are in the mountains. Hmm. Are we willing to... Oh. Yeah, around 1.2. It's difficult terrain, decent temperatures, uh, decent amount of rainfall, 100% forageable berries. Cool. Uh, I think this is where we're going to be. A temperate forest with some nice sandstone and slate. No caves, which is nice because we won't get random things spawning in that will come kill us. I think this uh, is going to be a difficult enough run to start with. We are surrounded by bandits on the north and east, but down to the uh, south and west and northwest, it looks like we have some slightly more amicable neighbors. So we should get some trade. I think that's going to be our starting point. We're going to pick one of these eight people. I'm not going to randomize. A psychopathic misandrist who is staggeringly ugly. So got rejected a lot. Already had no emotions, and so now she hits men. Uh, pretty and fast walker. Well, that's from getting away from all the men who were turning Engie down. Well, they were all chasing Inigo. But she does have a peg leg. Um, no health conditions. Is fantastic at melee, animals, and medical. Psych- Ooh. No, thank you. Old gunshot wound. We can kind of live with that. Really good at research. Decent at cooking. Really good at melee. That's Rose Patton. 42 years old and capable of nothing. I really would like someone with a passion for construction and growing if we can find it. Shooting's nice, we can make a bow. But she is incapable of a lot, incapable of none. Construction, mining, plants, medical, intellectual. I think this is our person. Very neurotic, jealous, and optimist. So, this person will work. This is uh, Sergei Poopy Harmon. Age 16, 719 years since they were born. Teenage male colonist of new arrivals. I really like this guy. Uh, he does have a brother out there somewhere. Jealous, so he needs the best bedroom. And he's also really happy, so 
it's harder to make and break, but it's also easier to make and break. These two traits kind of cancel each other out to a certain extent, I guess. Um, Jealous, well, he's the only person, so he's going to have the nicest room. And some really nice passions there. I think this is going to be our person, Sergei Poopy Harmon. There might have been somebody better in there, but Sergei kind of took my fancy, especially with the nickname of Poopy. That's just unfortunate. It was supposed to be a minor surgery, just an hour under the anaesthetic. You felt totally safe. Now you've awoken inside a drop pod, punching through the atmosphere of a distant rim world. Aside from a, uh, a slick of mysterious goo all over your body, you're totally naked. With no preparations, no tools, and no supplies, can you survive? Well. First thing we're going to do. We're going to go to orders. We are going to chop down just a little bit of wood here. Oh, we got NG. We didn't get... Oh... Crap. Okay, well, NG, um, I guess we are totally unprepared. So we're going to triple speed this just for now until we get these trees down, which of course NG is terrible at. We're then going to have her construct the rest of this building really quick. Turn it into a stockpile, and then we're going to try and gather some plants. And I think for the, the first little while, our goal is just going to be to gather plants. So let's go to work, no, architect, go to structures, walls, yeah, not enough stored, that's fine. We're going to go to orders and where is claim? We're going to claim all of this. Zone, we want a stockpile zone. Yeah, let's uh, change the settings on this. Uh, we don't want rotten. Everything else can go in there for now. We are going to delete. Oh, crap, that was not quite what we wanted to do. Stockpile zone. Didn't want to delete the whole thing. Ah, shrink zones, there we are. Get rid of that. We're going to put a sleeping spot up in that corner. NG, we need you to uh, get to work there. Just cloud watching. Well, NG, you kind of... Uh, let's restrict. Yep, we want uh, work... You get three hours of recreation a day, because uh, we are working against quite a, a tight schedule here. Okay, so she's gathered all the wood. Next, we want to harvest, and we are just going to select a massive area. And it looks like there is nothing. Okay, that's really bad. So, that means we want to go to production. We want a crafting spot. We want to add a bill, make make a short bow. Oh, there is some things that she can harvest. Good, what is that? That's wild heel root. Hopefully there's some kind of plants out here. If not, tomorrow we can get her hunting some rats, which is uh, not ideal at all. So she should have that short bow. We're going to make her a second room, which is going to serve as her super basic craft room. At least it will tomorrow. We can put a wood-fueled kitchen in there. Get it to hunt a rat or something. She actually made a good short bow, too. She is, of course, starving now. Hopefully we can get on top of this pretty quick. Once we have the um, the short ball, we can hunt a couple of animals, get some food and some uh, tribal wear. Nice. So there goes the, the thing. Let's equip the short ball, and then we will attempt to hunt the wabbit. We're gonna uh, go to production here. 
We'll order her to make us a butcher's table. I do like a lot of the UI improvements, like seeing where the chairs go and stuff is really nice. It's going to take her a while to do that hunting, I think, because she's not great at shooting. Or maybe not. Maybe she's just going to get right on that. Um, NG, what's your plan here? Cleaning dirt, I would rather... Cannot wall, but it needs material. Okay, we don't have enough wood. Let's uh, chop just like, just that one more tree. Minor break risk. I'm guessing that's because she has no food. The craft spot is now kind of uh, worthless. But how much food does this? How much does this need? It needs 95. Okay. Um. So we're gonna go to architect orders. I'm gonna chop down a couple more trees. Hopefully this goes quickly. And then we can uh, get that rabbit in, get it butchered. And she's probably just going to eat it raw. Because uh, we don't really have any other choice in the matter right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, she went straight to sad wandering. That's bad. Well, we're going to put a corpse stockpile out here. Allow rotten. I'm going to get rid of everything except corpses. Hopefully she won't starve to death before she manages to uh, get her shit together and goes and collects that rabbit. Of course, we, uh, we have a few things we can hunt on the map, so as long as she recovers in time to hunt the rabbit, she'll get some food in her, that'll cheer her up quite a bit, and then we'll just prioritize gathering food as best we can. And we'll go into like full-blown survival mode until another colonist arrives, just stockpiling food trying to make a slightly bigger and better shelter. What I should have done was had this butcher table up one, then I could have had No, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to mine this out a bit to get any more done in here, but that's fine. Hopefully NG stops wandering soon. Would really like her to uh you know, save herself from starving to death. Looks like she's wandered all night. What are you doing, NG? Ah, need defenses. Ah, she's still, uh, still sad wandering. I was hoping with that ding, she'd actually stop wandering around. Because the only one who can save her from dying is her. Like, her food is empty. And, yeah, unless she... Unless she, uh, stops wandering, this might be the end of this, uh, this file already. Hopefully not. I would like to keep going with this. Come on, NG. She is cheering up slightly, I think. Like, after a while, her mood will break. But a lot of the sadness that she now has is from this starvation. Ah, there we are. Which she's now about to fix. I think she's just eating that raw. Yeah, she just ate that rabbit raw. Which I guess is fine. We're now going to order her to hunt the turkey. because we would really like these things to be butchered before we start nomming them. At the very least butchered, I would rather they were cooked as well. Guess we'll have to do our cooking outdoors. There's a visitor, they are gonna be severely disappointed, I think. NG, no, I... Why can't we use this? Does it need the chair, maybe? Where's furniture? Furniture. Just build me a stool. 
I guess a torch lamp in there. Is you you are capable of butchering, right? Yeah, you have cooking. You even have a decent passion for it. Bills. Add Bill. Butcher creature. Uh, do forever. Hopefully now she do it. Maybe I just needed that. I'm used to uh, door forest where you uh, you hunt something. It's auto butchered. So in the morning we can hopefully butcher that. That's fine. He can leave. And once we've butchered the turkey, we'll try and. Um, Build a little storehouse here, and then build a bigger building out of wood to use as a, a full-blown kitchen. I think she's just eating it raw before she goes to butcher it. Is that, that, is that the new... Oh wow, we're gonna have to tan that, okay. So it's not just instantly leather. Uh, not instantly leather. That's actually good to know. So we're going to order some more trees cut down. We do have 26 meat, so she can eat. It's not going to be good for her, but she can eat. So I wonder, does that mean... Hand tailor bench. We're going to need the hand tailor's bench. So I think once we've got all this wood inside, we'll make us... We'll order... Just a simple, we'll order to a simple roofed area here. Wait, what? Oh, we're are we under attack from? We are. We're being attacked by a raccoon. There we are. So we're going to unforbid that. We will unmilitarize Ng, which for those of you who don't know, that's what just happened. We're going to have to. Um, Order her to treat her own wounds. So we're going to go into health. We're going to allow self-tending. And we do have that one piece of medicine. So she can use it. It wasn't great quality. Hopefully she's not still injured because... Uh, yeah, she managed to get them both. Um, infected wounds are awful. They take a lot of medicine to deal with. And we don't have a lot of medicine. So we have light in here, so she now is going to be a little bit better at butchering, which is nice. Still some wood to gather up, and some things to chop down. I also want that thing butchered pretty quickly. And then we're probably just going to try and gather wood, food, uh, wood meat, specifically meat, because we want, um, we want leather. Oh, it even tells us that they're neutral. Okay. Well, yeah, we, we want the leather because we want to make Ng some clothing. I don't know what clothing she is capable of making right now. It seems like we aren't capable of producing power. So we, when it said entirely unprepared, I think it means we have no technology. So we know nothing about survival except how to hunt, cook, clean the super duper basics, which is just fine. Looks like building the roofed area took care of that tree, so we don't have to worry about putting a floor there just yet. But I would very much like to um, expand this building that we've got. That's not going to be our permanent residence, but this is a really nice area. Lots of uh, things to dig in, lots of animals around. So we have... Ooh... We have two geothermals up in the top. That make we got one there as well. Large area that we could dig into to make a subterranean base down here. Okay, so this is looking like a really nice area. Just here. Or just here. So we've got at least one geothermal nearby. NG, you are wandering. Well, that is a waste of your time, which is basically the, the highest sin that we can have right now. Ooh, I don't think I want to get too close to that bear. So I think we're going to try and hunt a single gazelle. We definitely don't want to hunt too many of those. Because I don't want to risk them going full revenge on us and uh, murdering us by swarm tactics. Which can happen if you hunt too many of a certain type of animal. 
I would also very much like to start getting some crops planted, just in case the uh, animals start to run dry. So I think that is going to be tomorrow or like later on today's plan. We'll just go for a simple, yeah, we'll go for a 4x10 and it'll just probably just be potatoes. She's not going to be an amazing grower. It's a, it's a recurring food supply. Once that's down, I think we're gonna, um, tomorrow, in game tomorrow, when she's done planting all of the crops, we're gonna try and extend this building probably out this way a bit, just to make us an actual crafting hall, which we'll probably move the butcher's table into and make this her room, in between the storeroom and the crafting. Hopefully make her a bed. That should cheer her a bit. Put a floor in it. It's rough stone, so it's it's really not a pretty room right now. Okay, so she is still eating raw meat. It's really, really bad for her. There's a good chance she could get like um, gut worms or a thousand different kinds of infection from that. We also don't long term want to be building out of wood. It's a good way to um, get your base burned down in a siege. That's probably the bear hunting things. We don't want to deal with him today. Oh, that's a boom rat. We don't want to deal with those either. Anything with those, uh, for those of you who haven't played, anything with those yellow bits on, when you kill them they explode and they cause fire to spread around the map. How much wood do we have? We have uh, 189. Well, that's plenty for now. Hopefully with that we can... Are you kidding me? Hopefully this is just one person. It is. It's one person with a knife. They could still ruin our day. Because they have a knife, there's no point in us taking cover from them. So we're just going to um, wait until they... No, we're not going to wait on anything. We're going to walk out into the open here and we're going to try and shoot them to death with our bow when they get close. We don't have amazing range on this bow. Okay, one good hit. Two hits. Looks like we've uh, done some damage. We're going to fire again, and then we're going to try and run away. Because we are faster than her now. So we're just going to kite her around. Poor Sadako. I think she's trying to run from us now, but... We want her shirt. If we can get her down without killing her and steal her clothes, it'll be great. I don't think I want to bother trying to capture her, but we are going to definitely strip her. Uh, strip. We'll unforbid her really bad knife that we're probably never going to use, but we can now wear, like, take her clothes. We're now going to actually take a look at Sadako herself. Uh, oh, I think we do want Sadako. Holy crap. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to make this quick. We need to make a room for her. Well, we need, an, we need to make a prison cell. Which is what we're going to try and do. This is going to be the tiniest, crappiest prison cell known to man. And it's also going to be, um, we have no medicine to treat this woman with. And there's a good chance NG is going to lose her mind or... I think Sadako's probably going to uh, bleed to death overnight. Yeah, she's going to die overnight. I'm not going to risk NG's mental health for this woman. So, there she goes. Rip Sadako. It would have been nice to have someone, especially with those skills, but um, yeah, we're going to try and keep NG alive first and foremost. So I guess we'll, we'll finish off building the prison cell in case we need it in the future. Let's 
So you, these things aren't considered forbidden, are they? We'll, we'll, we'll unforbid Sadako. Hide it. Oh, that's not good. Well, Engie has another mental break. She is now just going to sit in her room and do nothing for a while. Luckily, she's planted a bunch of the potatoes already, so... It's not like we're achieving nothing. We are growing our food. But I think what I'm going to do is order that rabbit hunted. So the second she wakes up, air quotes, she is going to run outside and hunt a rabbit. And I'll order the turkey hunted as well, because we have a little bit of their leather already. We have some bird skin and we have some light leather and plain leather. So I guess they've taken it away from being so many different forms of leather. Which is what it used to be. It used to be animal specific. I guess they've recategorized it since I've last played. That's pretty neat. Once we get NG like a bedroom and some clothes, I think we'll be well on our way to not being up uh, up the creek without a paddle. We'll still be up the creek, but we might at least have a paddle. Okay, well there goes our gazelle meat, so we now don't have food. Luckily the potato plants do grow quite quickly. Not If we were really desperate, we could grow rice. But we have an, such an abundance of animals out here that I'm willing to uh, risk it. Now let's check. What is the worst thing for you right now? Uh, recreation starved. Okay, ravenously hungry. Ate raw food, naked, darkness, ugly environment, slept on crowd, awful bedroom, ate without table. And yeah, so it's mostly just the fact that you're sleeping in this horrible, dank storeroom and you're naked all the time. It would be nice if you got a grace period at the start of these games, give you like, I don't know, a week to get started. But I guess this is called the uh, the unfair start for a reason, right? If we wanted a grace period, we could uh, pick any of the other starts with a bunch of supplies that would give us exactly that. Okay, Angie's gonna go to sleep. She's gonna wake up, do some hunting, get some really bad food in her, and then we will try and build her a better crafting room. One that can uh, allow her to make some clothing for herself. And that means we can turn the room she's in into a bedroom. All good times. Kind of gross that she's still eating uh, raw food, but, you know, we'll do what we can about that when we can. Okay, so that's another little bit of food she's got. She's probably going to plant those uh, potatoes next, I guess. What are you doing now? Oh. Hauling Sadako. <laughs> I guess we do need to uh, build a grave for her. Graves are like the most annoying thing. Is it in Misk for graves? Yeah. Because you'll build like a thousand of these things by the time you unlock the um, technology that will allow you to just incinerate bodies. Or a bear could come and eat the corpse. I guess she has no interest in wearing Sadako's clothes because they were so degraded. Okay. Tattered apparel. I guess she is actually wearing some of the clothes then. Yeah, she's wearing the shirt and the, um, or at least the pants now. So she's not naked anymore. Okay, so now we want to uh, build out just a little ways here. We're going to make a nice, at least for the starting area, a nice big crafting room. This is obviously not going to be a permanent structure. Hopefully tomorrow we can get that finished. And then we can actually stitch ourselves together our own clothing. sleeping spot in there and we'll make that for prisoners so we now do have a tiny little jail cell if we need one okay things are actually going okay i feel like we're somewhat on top of things here not nearly as much as i would like to be but we've got a decent start towards uh 
having our shit together. Takes her a while to cut down these trees, but I think that's something else we need to do is hunt a bit more. And, uh... Cut down some more trees. Once the potatoes are grown, we'll, we'll be able to stop worrying about hunting as much for just a day or two. But for now... We're just going to order a bunch of trees chopped down. Oh, cargo pods. What nectar has fallen from the... Oh! Beautiful! So she's going to cut down some trees and then grab a bunch of raw potatoes. Then once she's gathered all that stuff together, I think I'm going to order to her... Auto it to build the floors, build some torches around. It's gonna be good. Right, so long term plans. Now that we've got, um, now that we feel like we've got a bit of a handle on short term, let's think about long term. We need research. In fact, let's take a look. I've forgotten what NG's proficiencies actually were. So let's see, crafting, animals, really good at cooking, really good at construction and shooting. So we're actually a decent starting person here. Uh, I would have liked, we're not going to be doing research with NG. I think we need, just need to throw out the idea of progress for now and work on subsistence. Because that's what she's good at, cooking, shooting, construction. She's also good at training and crafting, which is why we ended up with that nice ball right at the start. But long term, we're going to need somebody else to work on progression. Hopefully, we get somebody with um, the intellectual quality. Now, what is our, um, what's our growing at? Plants is only at two. So we're going to learn that really slowly. I don't think NG is going to be able to um, grow us medicine anytime soon. So the, the two skills we're really on the lookout from somebody potentially joining the colony are plants and um, intellectual. Okay, our meat's just right away again, so before we get working on anything else... Oh yeah, she's got all that potatoes up there to go gather. So I think we're going to let her keep gathering that and then we'll... Uh, work on outfitting these two rooms to their new purposes. Need meal sauce, yeah we do. We need a lot of things right now. Okay, so that's all that in there. Let's see, we're gonna go to production. We're gonna want a wooden butcher's table. In fact, we'll probably line them like this way. We're going to want the hand tailor's bench. Let's see, what can we do with power? Well, we can actually make um, turbines and stuff, so I was wrong about power. But we are still going to go for the wooden stuff and the powerless. We will get power, but it's not the highest thing on our list because currently we don't have any metal and any components. So until we mine some, we're stuck with... Uh, up with this stuff. Right, so, let's go for flooring. At the very least in this room, we're going to want some wood. And then we're going to want a real bed. Hopefully there's enough wood in there for all that. And then uh, deconstruct that. We can go to zones. We can expand our stockpile zone. Nice. There we are. So NG now has a real bedroom. We're going to add a bill. We're just going to order it to make a t-shirt. Hopefully NG can do that. Need material. Okay, how much material do we need for a t-shirt? requires 40 ingredients, so we're going to need to hunt one or two more animals. 
That's okay, we can have a look around. Uh, we've hunted one gazelle, but I think the light leather from the... Okay, that's fine. Chances higher if hunter is closer, less with good hunter stealth. Okay, so tomorrow she's going to hunt some more light leather creatures, which I think is this rabbit and squirrel stuff. Let's see if we can find any more turkeys, because another one of them would be nice, so that we can uh, make some pants as well. But I think for now, not so much for the meat, but for the leather, we're going to order a bunch of hunting. And then in production, I think we want to make a, um, a fuel stove. Oh, that takes metal, okay. Well, we have metal here. So once she's um, made some new clothes, we'll try and mine ourselves some metal so that we can make a stove. So I would rather not make tribal wear, but that, um... all right, we need to order a butchering. That might end up being what we do eventually. For now though, we're gonna try and just um, make ourselves a nice t-shirt. Okay, we have enough light leather now for t-shirt, real good. Sweet. Let's see, are there any turkeys out here? Because grabbing one more turkey might allow us to, um... Okay, there's our new t-shirt, which we are wearing. It's probably not great. Well, there's a squirrel. If we can hunt a, um... Two more squirrels might be enough to make us some uh, leather pants. And then we'll focus on mining to get our, uh, our fueled stove together. Let's go in here and we can get rid of that now. Pants, what do you need for pants? We need 40 ingredients. So yeah, once we get back up to 40 light leather, which we should do after this next thing, we can make ourselves some leather pants and then we're done with tattered apparel. So we're going to add Bill. Uh, where are they going? Make pants. She's going to make those out of the light leather when she's uh, getting around to it. Then we're going to make a... Tomorrow we need to make something for recreation. Which is obviously going to be our, uh, our horseshoe pin. There we are. Okay, so we've decided not to wear those. So we're going to go in... Uh, I think it's gear. Yeah, so we need to go to... I think it's restrict. No? Assign. Aha. Current outfit, anything. We're going to edit that. And only things... At 50% and higher, she will now wear. So in the morning, she should swap out those pants for the good leather ones that she's made. Nice. So we now have uh, much better stuff. And we need to... Wait, is that silver? No, that is compacted steel. Good. So we're going to order just a little bit of mining done. We don't need much steel here. But we do need just enough to make ourselves a nice stove. It's going to take Engie a while to do that, I think. Bulk goods trader. Well, I don't really know that we have much to trade. In fact, I know that we don't have much to trade. So we might... Um, Engie... We'll offer to trade with him. We do have a knife and some crappy clothes. So he might give us at least a little bit of silver for that. Um, we're not going to bother trading him the meat because we are using that for now. Yep, you can have those. Where's the knife? Uh, looks like he doesn't want the knife. Um, yeah, we'll just accept that. Oh. What do we got here? We got one guy with a club. Well, I think we're just going to leave him because uh, the caravan guys should take care of him for us. And indeed they did. Looks like he had some drugs on him and some other stuff. Nice. So we had some chunks of spacecraft land. We're going to unforbid all this guy. We're going to have to make a new thing. Uh, yep. So they can with they can yield um, components and steel. But for now we're just going to continue uh, 
with this up here. Alright, that's actually enough. So we're going to uh, orders. Where's the cancel? Remove items. Remove plans. No, where's just uh, cancel orders. We're going to cancel the rest of these orders. Get that steel inside. And then we're going to make ourselves a nice stove. And we'll put a nice stool in front of that. Then when we've done all that, we'll uh, dig a grave for that douche who got himself murdered just now. Okay, dear. So we're going to go to Architect, Misc, one more grave. Like I said, we're going to have 10,000 of these before we're ready to cremate bodies. Oh, that's right, she needs to actually drag all that steel around. So that's going to be another day or so's work, but then we can turn all this meat and raw potatoes into real food. So we're going to have one more mood boost from that. Of course, we do still need our... Um... What was I saying? We need our, our recreation. We need our horseshoe game. But things are looking up. As far as a uh, first week goes... Considering we started, um, oh, they left us a gift. They left us glitter world medicine. Holy crap! That's real good. That is real, real good. I was hoping we'd have uh, colonist number two by the end of this episode, but it looks like that is just not on the cards. We have 60 wood, so I'm going to go to Architect Recreation. We'll put the horseshoe pin down just over there. Off to bury that, uh, that nerd. And then... Bills. Add bill. Oh. We got the plague. Okay, this... This really sucks. So, NG is going to spend a lot of time now in bed, resting off the plague, as she should. The problem is, the plague takes a while to, um... A while to fight off. Our food is rotting away while she does it. And we can't really do anything but rest. The plague is one of the more deadly diseases. This is a real shame, because once she's done with those two pieces of Glitter World medicine that we were given, we're going to have to have her go out and gather some of the herbal medicine that's out in the fields. And any time she is out of bed to um, eat, gather food, do anything, it's going to mean her immunity grows a little bit slower. And it looks like the plague might just kill her anyway. Yeah, I think we might lose Engie here. Now, if I remember rightly, when you, um lose all your colonists, you can stick around playing, but um, generally speaking, you're just waiting for the next wanderer to pass by. I think we'll allow ourselves one of those, so if Engie does die, we'll allow ourselves one more wanderer to come by, because it does look like Engie's going to die, and I would rather uh, keep this file. I really like this location. So what we're going to order is harvesting of those two plants. And we're actually going to go tell her to do that now, just so she has more medicine. In the hopes that um, it's enough to keep her alive next time she needs treating. So her immunity is uh, 13 behind the plague. If the plague reaches 100, she dies. Just flat out. Looks like the immunity is going up ever so much. Uh, no... No, yeah, no, it's, it's keeping pace. I don't think... 
don't think NG is going to survive. I think the plague is actually progressing very slowly, very slightly more quickly than the uh, immunity is. She's just not a good enough doctor, especially with the um, self-tending debuffs to survive the plague. So as far as diseases go, like I said, plague's one of the worst. If we'd gotten something like um, gut worms or any number of other diseases, we might have survived this. But as it stands now, we, uh, we don't stand a chance of surviving. So I'm not going to bother telling NG to get up. We're just going to leave her. It, it, I think at 90% she's going to not be able to wake up anyway. Yeah, medical emergency. 92%. She is unconscious. There is now a raid. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, I think this has been episode one, folks. I think next episode we're going to try again with exactly the same settings. And I will join you as the pod touches down. We're just going to wait. Let NG's final hours play out. She has deserved at least... Uh, she's at least done that much from us. For all her efforts here. And there we are. The pilot is... Everyone is gone or dead. The story is over. Perhaps someone... Will find a use for these ruins. Well... Maybe Burns is going to wander in and see this lovely place and take it for himself. I guess we'll never know. Next time, folks, we'll uh, try again. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.